now that we've finished the flamingis, I think we should move on to these fresh new enclosures. This one's bigger than that one. This one we've managed to put an exhibit in. I don't think we can fit an exhibit into this one. No, I don't think we'll put one in here because um, there's not really much room as it is. I think we were going to put tortoises in this one because tortoises don't require any water. I mean, they have bowls of water, but they don't have bodies of water. Let's have a look at the, the animals and have a, a think about what we can put in here. So we want something that we can walk through the exhibit. I keep calling it an exhibit. It's not an exhibit. It's a habitat. No water, no climbing, obviously. We can have four individuals. Guests can enter habitat. That's what we're looking for. Right, they can. Sexual maturity at 25 years old. One male and three females, and they have up to eight offspring. They're solitary, but will tolerate other tortoises. So this is a shortlister. Look how cute he is. Look at his little face like little dragon. Ter a terrapin. Maybe we should put the terrapin in the other uh, exhibit that we have. What bizarre creatures these are. It's like a fox and a big cat. I don't know. They're just really odd creatures, aren't they? A large mammal found in the forest of the island of Madagascar. The fossa has a, a long and slender cat-like build with a tail almost as long as its body. But it looks like a cat crossed with a dog though, doesn't it? What a weird animal you are. Oh. We can have a giant anteater. Mating system unknown. Dominance unknown. How weird is that? It's unknown. Why include them in the game if it's unknown? Like, what do they do then in the game? That's weird, isn't it? Reproduction in captivity is easy, and yet it's unknown what their mating system is. That's so weird. The giant anteater has a very distinctive appearance with a long tubular snout, small eyes and ears. He's so cute though. Their population in the world is 5,000. That's it. 5,000 individuals. That's madness. Okay, I feel like we need we need some. They don't require water though. Put the tortoises in here and put the anteaters in there. Okay, I feel like tortoises and giant anteater are the ones, but let's just see what else we've got. Yeah, what? These guys are endangered. Yeah, their population is between 10 and 35,000. But the anteaters, their population in the wild is 5,000 and they're only listed as vulnerable, not endangered. What? That doesn't make any sense. They, they don't want water either. I'm kind of looking for an animal that requires water so we can at least have like a little pond area. Okay, maybe an okapi. Maybe. So you can either have one male on his own or one female. A male-female pair. You can't have two males or two females, I think is what they're trying to say. Oh no, but a female bachelor group excluding juveniles, you can have two of, but you can't have two males together. Okay, so we want two of these. Okay, we'll build the habitat we'll come back to this because um, I want to get uh, at least one gold individual. So I think this will be our Akapi uh, habitat. Okay, let's see what they need. If we gave them water, do you think they would use it or... They don't require it. Maybe just give them a little pool. Just a very small one. Then we'll just stick a shelter right in the corner. If it goes like that, can cover this up. She's small. Let's get her. So now we're just waiting for a male. It's not absolutely terrible. So we need a food trough. I mean, we can move them, can't we? So we'll put one there for now and we'll put one here. Here she comes. There she is. You can see how they're related to uh, a giraffe, can't you? Just just from the shape. Oh. Um. Okay. What are you doing? Please, please be careful. Are you happy? I mean, she's swimming. She just immediately jumped in there. She was just like, "Yep, yeah, I'm getting in there." Because we put water in, the land area has been reduced. Okay, well, when she comes out of there, we'll reduce the size of it by, like, half. She seems to really enjoy it in there, so she seems happy with the terrain as well. That's so sweet. She's like, I'm having a little swim. All these people. 
She's scared. Is that what's happening right now? Her welfare is absolute crap. Okay, we need to fix this. I'm just going to pause it before we, you know, fail utterly at this. Her social, she wants a friend. It said one to, it said you could have one on, on their own. They'd be happy. Why is their welfare so bad? Because they have crap enrichment. Okay, right. Let's start with the water. I'm disappointed because the I thought this was a good idea. Perhaps if we just make it smaller like that. Okay, do we have enough land now? No. Damn, do we have to take it out completely? She seemed to be really happy having a little swim. I mean, look at the amount of people. That's madness, isn't it? Perhaps we should have been should have put her in there. I think we can make this work if we put enough plants around the place and just make it really densely populated with plants. I mean there's like no area in here at all that's private. I think we should put her in the other one and we'll put the tortoises in here because the tortoises don't seem to care when there's loads of people around. Okay, good. Now she's got enough space. She just wants some more grass. That's not a problem. Welfare is going up. Okay, good. It's just suddenly plummeted. What happened? Let's build an Okapi enclosure. Let's go. Animal welfare. Oh, because she's okay. She wants a friend. Um, oh, let's get him for now, for the sake of making Shani happy. Look, she's just hanging out in here like constantly. She loves it. Okay, we have a friend now. How about you? Are you happy? You're very happy. Oh, his social dropped and then went back. Oh, why? Why are you unhappy? Distressed and trying to hide. It's because of all the people. Right, we're going to pause this until we've built a better enclosure. I don't want them to be all like stressed out. So she was happy to be living by herself, it turns out. She was just not happy with all the people. We will fix it. We will make it beautiful. Don't panic. Oh, there's people up there. Hey, are you happy now? You are at 100%. All right, I think we're good then. Stress 100%, meaning stress-free. Not 100% stress. Oh no, he's just jumped down. It's because of all the people. You see what I mean? Like, why are people allowed to go through a, a habitat for an animal that is just really shy and doesn't like to be around people at all? He's stressed and trying to hide. Go and hide in your new cave that I just made for you. The back legs look so awkward, don't they? Bless her. She looks like an anteater crossed with a zebra, crossed with a giraffe. They're such weird creatures, a carpy. They do look very cool in real life. Okay, I'm actually very happy with how this has turned out now. I know it's just like a, a rock wall, but it looks cool. Let's just fill in this little piece here.
looks boring, it's okay. We're going to make it beautiful. New World benches, yes, because they're just wooden, they're plain, they go with anything. I think we want something that is ridiculous. These are huge as well. It's going to have to be that. We can make it work. We can put plants that kind of overhang a little bit like this because then it makes it look like the area is larger. Tricks of the trade. I think we'll just build this up with some really nice uh, plants and trees and such. Also looks dirty doesn't it yeah why is it dirty it's got no water treatment all right we're just gonna have to plunk one down over here i don't even know if this is straight hopefully that's that's good that's close enough isn't it? can you let go can you stop doing what you're doing right now there we go better far it's not powered obviously it's not powered let's just give it a solar panel there you go you two can be friends you look like you're running around because you're trying to hide you are how are you still stressed out? Are you hiding in the trees? That's really adorable. I don't think we fixed the problem. I mean, this is a real challenge, isn't it? Having shy animals that people can walk through their, their habitat and trying to keep, keep them happy because they just keep running away. I'm actually thinking that we might leave it there because it, it's we've been going for seven and a half hours. I have I have news. I now have a store on Patreon where you can purchase uh, screenshots. I really like taking screenshots in pretty games and then editing them uh, with Adobe products, you know, making them like really moody and vibrant or sepia or whatever. Depends on the mood of the, the picture. But I'm selling them on there um, to help to support my streams and my content and my YouTube channel. You don't have to be a patron on Patreon to be able to access my store and to support me uh, on, on the store. However, if you do decide that you want to become a patron, you will have complete access to everything in my store absolutely free. Also, second piece of news, Patreon is now, they've rolled out this new feature where you can follow 
creators on Patreon so you can follow me without parting with any of your hard-earned money unless you want to. So you can follow me and then you have access to all of my public posts and then you will have the option to upgrade if you want to see my locked posts that are just for patrons. It's greatly appreciated uh, when you do support me. So thank you. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me in my content creation journey. So yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. I hope you find something fun and interesting to capture your imagination for the rest of the evening. Thank you for being here with me today. I, I appreciate, I appreciate and I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Love your faces and I will see you in the next one.